As summer approaches, car owners can expect sweltering heat inside their cars due to the new regulation which bans solar control films. But relief is available now with Stay Cool nanotechnology which replaces tinted window films for cars. Foman Global is introducing globally patented nanotechnology solar control in India and other countries. The company claims that Stay Cool cuts 90% of UV and 70% of infrared. When sprayed on the window glass from inside, the nanoparticles inside Stay Cool liquid form a clear and transparent coating. The company, which has launched its product in Hyderabad on Tuesday, is currently rolling out with several service partners in most major cities in India. In India, at least, is most of the cars, due to the radiation of the sun, starts getting heated up. What this product does is help reduce the heat effect on the cars. In terms of uh, real effectiveness, it drops the temperature of the car by at least about 10 degrees from the outside temperature. So the basic product is a nanotechnology which is focusing on uh, helping us uh, reduce the effect of infrared. What causes heat in the car is the infrared. We cut out close to about 70% of the infrared through the nano coating. We also cut out close to about 90% uh, of the ultraviolet rays, which is harmful to the skin. That's basically what the product's uh, specification is. Temperature, the basic product is uh, set up for the tropical climate where temperatures average between uh, 22 to about 35 to 40 degrees. So it's as effective as in the north as in the south. Once the temperature goes beyond 30 degrees, then it kicks in, uh, the accelerated effect of uh, reducing the temperature starts kicking in the product. We, are, we have launched in Japan, we have launched in Singapore, we have launched in Indonesia, we have launched in Thailand, we have launched in the Middle East. Now we are going to launch in India, as of today is the first day of the launch in India. We plan to go to Brazil in December because December is the summertime for Brazil. So we'll be launching in Brazil in December.